Should taxes scare you from investing? Well, would you turn down a raise because you're gonna have to pay taxes on the incremental money? No, probably not. Now, the discussion today is a pretty decent support case for maximizing your 401k and IRA contributions first though, since the ongoing tax situation on those bad boys is pretty simple. And by simple, I mean you often don't have to do or pay anything each year until you start using the funds later, but you can buy and sell in those accounts with generally reckless abandon. But the point is, if you owe taxes on investment gains, that means you had investment gains, and that is a beautiful thing. 